Hey everybody, Rick Bray with the Plick team at Broomtow Gabosis, out enjoying what might be one of my last summer walks with the dogs because yeah, unfortunately summer is wrapping up quickly. That means it's getting ready to head back to school. Maybe you're getting ready with your Schoology courses, looking to copy materials into those courses, thinking, gosh, I wish there was an easier way than having to copy it to all my, I wish there was just, I could put it out there once and it was everywhere. Well, there's an answer to that and it's called linking sections. Let's take a look. All right, so just a few quick things to mention uh, before we dive into how to link sections, and I'm gonna bullet them on the page because they're, they're kind of important here. First thing is uh, you wanna make sure that you are linking sections at the start or at least before the term begins for those courses. Because when you link sections or when you unlink sections, it deletes any student data in that section. So if you were to have students turn in work and then link your courses, that work would be gone and unretrievable. So that's an important thing to note. The other thing, in order for sections to link, they have to be of the same course. I know that may kind of sound silly, but you could run into some issues in different places. But if you're using like a student information system linked up with Schoology and the enterprise version to create your courses, you're probably in good shape there. And we'll take a look at what I mean. The last thing is, and this could be a little weird, but in order to link sections, the sections being linked have to have the same teacher or admin roster in each of them, right? You, you can't have, maybe if you have a co-teacher in one of the sections, but not another, they won't link. So link first because the teachers have to be the same and then add your co-teacher to that section after the link happens. Also to link, the student rosters have to be different. So if you, by some chance, have one student who's in two sections of the course, it won't allow those to link. So there you go. With knowing that in mind, let's take a look at how to link. It all starts by clicking on the Courses tab at the top of your screen and heading over to My Courses. So it's not done from here. You have to actually click on the right-hand side my courses. Now you'll see here, um, this is what I mean by these are sections of the same course, even though this kind of looks like the same thing and maybe it even had the same name, which this one doesn't, but maybe if it did have the same name, I couldn't link this section in because they're not already grouped together, if, if that makes sense. Um, we'd have to do some changes with the student information system. So that's just your visual there. They have to be the same. How do I link them? It all starts by clicking on the gear to the right-hand side and selecting the icon to link existing section. From here, it's going to pull up a small window that asks, which ones do you want to link? I'm going to say I want to link all of them, two, three, and four, right? You have the option of linking some or none, whatever the case may be. Um, and I'm gonna say next, it's going to say, what do you wanna do with the grade book? Again, like I mentioned at the beginning, if you're doing this at the start of the year and there's no material in here, it really doesn't matter which one you pick. Um, but I'll just do a standard CSV download and next, it's giving me that warning of what's gonna happen. I'm gonna link sections. And now you'll notice it says section one comma uh, section two comma section three comma section four. It linked them all together. What you'll notice when I click on the course uh, and later on it may it may just take some time. It may condense all of these linking section demos and say section one, two, three, four, right? Uh, but anywho, you'll see it says it up here. When I add a material, I am effectively adding it to all of the sections. Right? I can select, if there's a particular section I want it to go to over another one, I can select that down here. Right? This availability and due dates. The availability just means, is it published or is it unpublished? And the due date is what this is all about. It's not like that whole make available at a certain time. Um, it, it's all, the availability is, is it published or not? and the due date is what this is all about. So I could customize it and say, you know, for section one and three, I want it to look a certain way, and then everybody else I want to look a different way. And so, so you have some ability in how you uh, show it to the students, if you will. Um, but that's gonna be there for every single resource that you build. The other thing I wanted to show is in the members tab, once you link courses, you'll notice uh, sometimes you'll say, I, I can't see the member list or how am I gonna add that co-teacher to section three? Well, now it says members section one, 
And if I click here, it gives me a drop down for one, two, and three. And uh, one, two, three, and four. So I could just go to section three and add my um, co teacher there. You'll notice I also have a bunch of different access codes because it all groups it together. So that is what linking sections is all about. When you go to courses and my courses, you follow those steps. It will link them all together. That way, when you add materials like, oh, geez, I don't know, maybe a Google Drive assignment, right? You don't have to add the template to every single go back and copy it. It's just going to be there. So uh, that is an awesome, awesome feature. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please feel free. Oh, geez, Louise, I'm hitting the wrong thing. If it did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. And as always, you're welcome to subscribe to this channel to get updates and notifications when new content is posted. I hope you enjoy your year. And as always, thanks for watching.